All right, so here's one. We'll try. Uh, Gen 6 454. And we're going to put it into this gallon, 55 gallon plastic drum. And I'm going to put the uh, hydrochloric acid in there. And I got it just getting up here. And uh, like everything else, I just start doing something that I think about recording. So this is step one. The block is uh, pretty rusted. I'm really hoping to save it. I kind of hit it up there with a little, little bit of the wire wheel to see if we're pitted or anything crazy. So far, a lot of surface rust sitting out. Some, some guy just had it sitting out exposed like this. Uh, so we'll see if we can't cure this uh, rust issue and get this thing ready for machine work and cleaned up to be in a stroked out build. Here we go. Okay, so I got a respirator on here, but here it is like three days later. It's looked like it's cleaned it up. There's just like a little surface rust on there. Kind of that orangish color. I'm going to hose it off and dip it in the bicarb tank I have next. We'll see how that does. Sorry, shaky there. Okay, so I took it out of my acid tank and washed it off in the driveway. And now I just uh, put it down in here before it starts flash rusting or anything worse into the sodium bicarb. This is a 50 gallon drum full of 10 pounds of baking soda, which is sodium bicarb, and that's going to neutralize the acid. I pulled this up a little bit so you can see it's clear, but if you were to like, when I had it down there for a second, if you were to look at it, you'd see like little cloudiness where it's like a chemical reaction in there. And all this stuff that you can see that's like a muddy rust color there, that just wipes right off. The chain here is, was all clean, but now it's starting to flash rust because i got it sitting out in the air for a couple minutes before I got the camera phone out. So I'm going to put the tank back in here, or the uh, block back in my little 55-gallon makeshift tank and see what happens. <laughs> 